Hey everybody, I'm Josh Jackson from WPSculptor.com. Thanks for watching this video. Today I'm going to show you how to create and embed a Google Calendar onto your WordPress site. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to show you how to create a one-time event. And when users click on that event, they'll get this description with the details of the event, the time, the location, and also you'll be able to use hyperlinks so that you could redirect uh, users to another website. For example, if you wanted to redirect users to a PayPal page or a ticket purchasing page, you could do that. In this example, I've got it directing to a band's website that opens up in a new tab. And I'm also going to show you how to use the recurring feature and have events that run uh, weekly in this example every Thursday night. And you only have to input that event in the calendar one time and you can set it to go every week or every two weeks or however you want to do that. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, let's just jump right into it. The first thing you're going to do is go to google.com and click on calendar at the top. And you will need a Google account, so go ahead and log in with your Google credentials. All right, once you're logged in, Go down to My Calendars and click on the arrow to the right and a drop down menu will appear. Click Create New Calendar. And we're going to give this calendar the name Coffee Shop Events. We're going to call this Event Calendar for Coffee Shop XYZ. And let's just say New York for fun. And Eastern Time and this is important you want to make sure and check the box that says make this calendar public otherwise um, only people that you've specifically invited to view the calendar will be able to see it when you embed it on your website so click that box and create calendar and you want to say yes to this this makes your calendar public all right and the next thing you're gonna do is go down Click on this drop down arrow and we're going to hover over the a calendar we just created, the coffee shop events calendar. Click on the arrow and display only this calendar. So that's the only thing we're looking at here. And we're going to go ahead and switch to the monthly view. Just like that. Now to create our first event, just double click on the date that the event will take place. And we're just going to say Tuesday the 9th, which is today. Click on that event. You actually just click it once. And we're going to call this Special Guest Mumford and Sons in concert. And we're going to edit the event to put more details in. And this is not going to be an all day event, so we're going to uncheck that box. And now we're going to specify the time by putting in the start time here, which will be, let's just say, 7 p.m. And let's say 7 to 9, so it's a two-hour event. And we're not going to repeat this because this is a one-time event. And we're going to say where, we're going to say coffee shop XYZ. And that is the correct calendar. And then under description, let's just say don't miss Mumford and Sons live at coffee shop XYZ. And then we're gonna hit then I'm gonna hit enter and right here I'm gonna use a little HTML code so that we can put a link. And this is really cool because you could actually link to um, a PayPal page, for example, or if you're selling tickets, you could link to that ticket selling page. But we're just going to link to the Mumford & Sons website by typing in less than a space href equals quotation mark http colon slash slash www.mumfordandsons.com other quotation marks then the greater than sign view their website. And then we're going to do a closing anchor tag, just like that. Now, when people look at this event on our calendar, they'll be able to see this view, their website, and it'll be a hyperlink. They'll be able to click on that and be taken to mumfordandsons.com. 
and we're just going to leave the event color the standard and everything else is going to be the same we're just going to click save all right now we have this event added and the next thing i want to do is just show you how to do an event that recurs let's just say weekly so it'll um, however many weeks you want it to recur this would be something uh, you would want to use for something like karaoke night that's every thursday which is what we're going to do so go ahead and click on thursday the 11th since we'll start it then and we'll just say karaoke night we're going to edit the event details where go ahead and put your location and then description And we're going to go ahead and uncheck all day, and we're just going to say this event starts at, let's do 8 p.m. Eight to, let's do 8 to 10. And then we're going to repeat it by checking this box. And we want it to repeat every week on Thursday, as we have it set and we want it to do this indefinitely. So we're gonna say never. You could, if you just wanted it to go for four weeks, for example, you could click this box and type in four and it would just go every Thursday for four weeks and then it would no longer be on the calendar. But we're gonna say never for now. We can always go back and take this event off if we wanted to. And we want it to be every week, not every other week or anything like that. So we're gonna click done. And then we're gonna click save. And now our calendar is updated, we have Every Thursday is karaoke night at the same time that we put in, 8 o'clock. And just so you know, if you go to the next month here and look at August, it's going to be there as well. And for September, all the way indefinitely. Now to add this calendar to our website, you're going to go down to next to the event calendar that you've created and click on the arrow. And you're going to click calendar settings. And then right here, in, next to embed this calendar, you have the code that you need to copy and paste to embed it on your website. So just select all that code, and we're going to copy. And then in a new tab, we're going to go log into the back end of our WordPress website. Yourdomain.com forward slash wp-admin. Log in with your credentials. And we're going to go to pages, all pages. I've already created a calendar page. So I'm going to click on that calendar page. And then I'm going to make sure I'm in the text editor since this is HTML code. You don't want to do this in the visual editor. Make sure you're in the text editor. And then just copy or just paste that code in that you copied earlier and click update. And now, if we view the page, you will see that we have an embedded calendar. And when and users can click on these events and get the specific details, this is the Mumford & Sons concert that we put in. And here's the hyperlink. When users click on that, view their website, it takes them to the URL that we specified, the MumfordAndSons.com URL, just like that. It opens up in a new window, which is pretty cool. And again, that would be something you could utilize for um, a ticket purchase page for example if you wanted to redirect users there and then we have our weekly karaoke night the last thing I want to do is show you how to change the size of your calendar and uh, make it larger for example so to do that go back to edit page so that we can edit the calendar page that we created where we have our embed code and most WordPress themes, I'm using the 2012 theme for this example, but most WordPress themes have the option to have a no sidebar uh, template for any given page. And you would just go to page attributes and click on under template, click the arrow next to default template, select full width page template, no sidebar. And then we're going to update the page. Now, if you view, now if you view the page, you'll see that it's wider. Now this calendar is actually displaying 800 pixels wide, but we can also change that and make it the full width of the page. Go back to edit page and 
right here, make sure you're still in the text editor. You can change this, this is the width. It is 800 pixels. We could just change that to 900. Update. And then view the page. And we still need to go, it looks like about another 100 pixels, so let's just go back, edit page. Let's just change it to a thousand, see what happens. View the page. There we go. Just like that. As always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did find it useful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. That really helps me out. And also, if you're interested in learning how to create this exact same website with the WordPress 2012 theme, I've got a step-by-step -step tutorial here that will walk you through how to do that. So don't forget to check that out. Thanks a lot.